Hi everyone, it's Bobby from Decoded here, and in this video we will be talking about Hashpack, which is a Chrome extension and browser-based crypto wallet. So let's jump straight into it. So, like I said, yeah, we'll be looking at Hashpack today, which is a crypto wallet, and it's actually built on Hedera, which I love. Uh, I do also have a, a Hashpack wallet, and uh, out of all the wallets I've got to handle my cryptocurrencies, this is one of the best ones. So in today's video, I will walk you through all the steps to get it installed as a Chrome extension. We'll create a wallet and have a look at some of the features. So. The link to their website, which is hashpack.app, will be in the description of this video. So if you're if you if I mention any links or anything today, then just have a look in the description and you'll be good to go. So this is the website. So I've also um, written a tutorial on my own website, which is here. Link to which will be in the description below. Uh, so we'll be following along step by step on my website, and uh, hopefully by the end of this, you can set up your own wallet and. Um, start transferring currencies and NFTs and things like that. So um, let's jump straight into it and I'll just read straight from the screen here. So Hashback is a Chrome extension of browser-based crypto wallet built for DApps, DeFi and NFTs, powered by the most sustainable public network, Hedera Hashgraph. So this is pulled straight from their website. So it supports an NFT gallery, peer-to-peer -peer NFT trading, free account creation, multi-account support, address books and HTS support. It also has seamless ledger integration and the ability to buy HBAR in wallet using MoonPay, which I love. That is fantastic. You can also connect securely with Hedera dApps using Hashpack to approve transactions while keeping your private key safe and secure. So in this video, there'll be a lot of blurred out different bits and pieces, such as my, um, my um, phrases and my private keys and things like that. But uh, don't worry, you'll be able to follow along and get your wallet set up seamlessly. So since its launch, Hashpack has been making waves in the community as a lead in Hedera wallet for dApps and NFTs. Hashpack approaches users' experiences seriously as application security, new features development, or community involvement. From vision to reality, Hashpack is simple, secure, and stylish. And I would have to agree with that. I really love the look of it. It's really easy to use. Um, like I said, I've got other wallets, and this is uh, right up there with the very, very best of them. So don't worry. If you don't watch this video, then go to my website. Um, um, you can find this tutorial. And equally, if you don't like to read tutorials, then you can watch this video. So you can click this link here, and it's the video I'm recording right now. So there's the thumbnail there. So today's syllabus will be installing a Google Chrome extension. We'll be creating a new wallet, and then we'll try I'll put send some HBAR. But we'll be having essentially looking at some features of the wallet. So let's go ahead and start installing a Google Chrome extension. So you want to visit, visit hashpack.com and then a click any call to action that says install on Chrome. So it's the website. I've got install on Chrome here. I've got another one on the top here. If you keep scrolling, there's loads of call to action. So click any one of them that says install on Chrome. Redirect you to this page. And like it says on my website, you want to click this add to Chrome. It stands to reason that um, this is a Chrome extension. So Make sure you're using Chrome as your browser. Add extension. He's just thinking about it. And then at the top of the screen here it says Hashpack has been added to Chrome. So manage your extensions by clicking extensions in the tool menu, which is this little bit here. Can you see that on my screen? It's in the top right. So click that little jigsaw piece and you can see you've got Hashpack right there. And then it opens up on this screen. I'll maximize that. Um, no, I won't. I'll have a look at my website. So we've gone past this stage. Step two, step three is to add extension. And then we want to create a new wallet. So go ahead and open a new extension. You will need to add a password and agree to the terms and conditions before clicking next. So you see at the bottom of my screen there, you probably can't because of the border, but there's a little icon in my little toolbar there. So this is the app, this is the Chrome extension, and you have to add a password, confirm the password, and agree to T's and C's. So There we go, they match, click agree, click next. Okay, so it comes up with two options. We will be creating a new wallet, so click create wallet. You can import an existing wallet. This is where you will need your seed phrase and private key and account number, but we're creating a new wallet. 
So create a new wallet, create a new Hashpack wallet or set up a new wallet using your ledger. We'll be creating a new wallet. And this here, a lot of this is gonna be blurred out. So um, in fact, most of it will. This is my um, C phrase, which is 24 different phrases that you need to copy. So please click the copy C phrase to clipboard and dump that in a notepad or take an image and save it. Just save it away from your wallet. Okay, so it's very, very important. If you were to lose everything, lose all of your data from your local machine, you need your phrase to get your wallet back. So I'm gonna create a testnet account. So um, this would be a wallet built on testnet, not on the main net on Hedera. So any um, features um, that the Hashpack as a main net wallet would have, I might not necessarily have as a testnet, but um, look, this is just for demo purposes, right? So click OK. Click next, and then go back, <laughs> copy seed phrase. Okay, I'm gonna dump that in a notepad. And I'll dump that over here on a different screen. There we go, right, so next, and then it's asking me for number four. Just dump that in there. Little fiddly, but this is where you get the security from your wallet, right? So, and two more to go. There we go, click next. Like I say, this is all on my website. So, if we scroll down, we're on this stage here. So, new account. So, now uh, when I was making this the other day, um, we need you need to put your uh, wallet nickname uh, so decoding demo I've put and then select the currency so I'm in the UK so I've got pound sterling so go back into your wallet here I'm going to call this demo pound sterling there we have it and then create wallet wonderful so um, I've now got an account ID so this is my wallet ID um, it, you make a note of that, right? So you will need that when you're um, loading a wallet into Hashpack rather than um, creating a new one. So you'll need an account ID, a private key, or your seed phrase. So if you click this reveal recovery keys, it will come up with this. So you can copy a private key to your board, put that somewhere safe. I can't emphasize that enough. Put that somewhere safe. Do not lose your private key and copy your seed phrase, which you saw a few moments ago, and keep that safe or safe. And once you have those saved on your local machine or where, on a piece of paper in a file cabinet, anywhere, just keep them very, very safe. Can't emphasize that enough. And then put, let's go. Okay, brilliant. I've now created a wallet. So um, you can see at the top of my screen here, it says you are currently using Testnet. So anything I do, and it's, because I'm on testnet, it's fictitiously given me 3000 HBAR, right? So if I was on mainnet, if you created this as a wallet, so if this was your live wallet, that would not say 3000, it would say zero, and you'd need to transfer some money in. So let me um, open this up a little bit so you can see. Um, you can see at the bottom of this, at the very bottom of the screen, you might not be able to see it, I'm just looking at my OBS there. At the very bottom, we've got receive and send. So if you click receive, this is your QR code and this is your uh, account address. So um, you can use the QR code or the account address to send some HBAR to your HBAR wallet. So you're gonna copy address to your clipboard or you can um, send. So if you click send, you can add an account ID here, save an address. And if you click okay and send, you can then um, add the amount of HBAR or any cryptocurrency that you're, you have in your wallet and send that across. So you can send, uh, cryptocurrencies close that down we've got nfts so you can uh, receive secure trades associate nfts you've got histories so this will be all of your transactions you can buy cryptocurrencies okay so um you, they use moonpay here so you can actually use fiat to buy cryptocurrencies directly within hashpack which is a great great feature um that is it that is the hashpack wallet now one of the features that you can do is actually um, bring that, if you lose your data, for instance, if for instance, your machine, local machine 
just crashes and you lose all of your data. Uh, if you've got your seed phrase and your private key and your account number, you can actually um, load your wallet from using your seed phrase. We won't do that in this tutorial. I think this tutorial, was this was all about just showing you Hashpack, what it's all about, how to get one set up as a wallet on your local machine and actually get going. You've got, um, what have we got here? So got, you can connect dig, um, decentralized applications, scan a QR code, so that's another good feature. And you can also, if we go back into assets, click into the asset itself, and it will show you actually the, um, the graph here of the uh, value of the, each individual cryptocurrency, in this case is HBAR. So you can see it's currently sitting at, um, six cents or is that six i've probably got this as pound sterling but either way this is the chart so this is the, the wallet is um immersive there's a lot going on there's a lot of good features and benefits so i have got a mainnet wallet on hashpack and i do use it uh, i will add the wallet address in the description below um just in case anyone's feeling generous and wants to um donate some hbar to me any hbar helps me create these uh, videos uh, of a better quality and a little bit faster so um that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'd urge you to have a look at hashpack.app and um, decide for yourself if this is the wallet for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.